Hey YouTube, BM here. Let's do a little video on the spray bar system I got going on my open top planted tank. Let's take a look at this. This um, this one's for the system I have, the e the Eheim canister. Uh, it did, didn't come with it. Uh, it's an extra purchase. It's probably I think like 25 bucks or something like that, but. Um, it just clips right on. It's nice. It's it. It works well. Uh, it was worth the extra. And uh, there's the canister. There's the my other can for the CO2. But there's the canister for the filter. And uh, it, it, I didn't have to really take it apart or nothing. I, I just hooked it right up. You can buy extensions. I was thinking about getting a couple more extensions just to go even further across it. Not that I really need it, but I don't know. I'm always about overkill, I guess. But um, the importance of it, what I believe is, uh, I don't know if you guys experienced it, but with the open tops, um, don't ask me why, but um, you get a lot of film going on on the top of the water planet tanks. Uh, I, I think it's just a combination of all the, the crap we're putting in it. Um, fertilizers and whatnot. It just um, dead debris. But anyways, uh, it doesn't escape. It just kind of goes and it settles on the top. And uh, this, this pre prevents it. You, you don't see any film on my tank. That's crystal clear water right there. Um, right now, you're looking at CO2 bubbles. My CO2 is on right now, but even with the CO2 bubbles pumping like they are, you don't see any film on there. And that's because of the spray bar. It breaks the surface. Um, you, you, it's very important to break the surface. Keeps everything uh, everything healthy, I believe. And it looks better. I've seen some guys using uh, paper towels, kind of skimming it, taking the film off. That works. Um, another guy I see using a vacuum, shop, shop vac. Uh, good idea. I was actually thinking about doing that myself with the duckweed. Sucking it right out of there. But, uh, you know, and it works on the film, but put the spray bar on there and uh, you won't have to do any of that. That's that's a maintenance that's cut right out of the, the picture. You don't even have to worry about it. That's how it works. Works well. Um, but anyways, just a little tip that uh, I, I've learned. I, I've, I've done the other methods and whatever. Um, but anyways, spray bar, well worth the extra money. Works great. Uh, as far as flow down the throughout the tank, because um, that's important as well. Yeah, that's why you know you see the leaves blowing around in there. It's because I got some flow in there. What that is, I got it hidden. It's actually hidden pretty good. But it's just one of them little power heads in there. You can see my CO2. It runs right into it, and as you can see, it, it that's that the flow. That's what you see there, and as you can see, it diffuses nicely. I mean, look at I got CO2 bubbles all throughout my tank. That's why everything is exploding in this tank. I mean, it, it really is. I got growth, mad growth everywhere. Um, but you can see all my CO2 bubbles just get trapped right in my Java moss. I mean, that, that stuff is just crazy, crazy growing. But anyways, that's that. Thanks for watching, guys.